What is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to yet another episode of Build Yelp in React. Today we're going to continue with our landing page. So if we take a look at our beloved diagram, uh, we can see that we already did the blue part, we already did the green part, and now we need to do this search bar. So we have something like a grayed out button, we have an input, then we have another grayed out button, and then we have an input, and then we have a search button. So that should be doable. Okay, so let's get started. We open up our code editor, and we go to source, and we create a new folder, and we call this search bar. And inside that folder, we are going to create a new file and call it searchbar.js. And since we will probably need some styling for that, we will say searchbar.module.css. Now let's go to our searchbar.js file and say import react from react, uh, export function search bar and return search bar. Okay, so this is our placeholder component and right now we are not using it yet. So we haven't wired it up with our landing page. So that's why we go in here and we just say search bar. Okay. So if we now go to site, then we see, okay, we now have this text, but instead of this text, we actually want to have some input and some forms. So let's head over to Bulma because that's why we installed Bulma in the first place to already have some pre-built components that we can use. So in here, let's start from the documentation, right? You go to bulma.io slash documentation and we want to do something with a form and I found it on the general. So sometimes stuff is like a little bit hard to find. Um, so let's scroll down somewhere here. Yes, here it is. So here is the grayed out part and then we have the input. So that's pretty nice. Let's just copy that stuff. And we're going to paste it inside here. So let's just wrap this in a diff and then we're going to paste it. And oh, it's a little bit red. So what is that? Let's just make the correct indentation to see what's wrong here. Yep. Okay, maybe let's move this to the line, one line up so it looks properly. Okay, so it says we're missing, we're missing, ah, okay, we're missing the closing tag of the input. Okay, so now that looks fine. And what I don't like about this Bulma doc is that it's frequently using this uh, anchor tags but we'll come to that in a second. So now we have our input and we have this grayed out thing. Okay, that's nice. But we actually want it the other way around. So we first want the grayed out thing, then we want some input, and then we want another grayed out thing, and then we want another input, like this thing right here. And that shouldn't be a problem because we can just take this, I'm going to cut it, and we're going to paste it down here. And then we're going to copy this. And um, uh, maybe let's not copy it yet. Maybe let's make this a button because you can see down here we get some warnings for anchor tags. And since we're going to use React Router, which kind of messes with the entire redirecting and routing system anyway, it's just better to use a button here. So this is a static button. We can copy that one more time. Okay, then we have this second static button and then we need the second input. So we can copy this right here. So let's see what we have. Yes, that looks kind of okay-ish. We just need to make some modifications here. So let's go back and let's change all the placeholders. So in here, we don't want at gmail.com, we want search. And in this button, we want to have near. 
in all caps. At least that's how Yelp has it. And we also don't want this email placeholder because the user is not supposed to type in an email there. He's supposed to type in, uh, what was it? Something with burgers. Yeah. Burgers, barbers, spas, handymen. Okay. And here the placeholder should be where? Okay. Let's see if that helps. Yes. So that looks pretty good. Now, one thing here is if you look at the size of this, seems kind of small compared to this bigger logo here. So we probably want to make this form a little bit bigger. And uh, if you're working with Bulma, this is actually pretty easy because there's this class is medium and you can pretty much apply that to everything. And uh, like there's is small, is medium, is large. So this is like pretty cool to make stuff larger. So what we are going to do is we're just going to say is medium and we're going to say is medium as well uh, here as well and here as well that should make everything a little bit bigger yes so that's nice now we already see the first problem here so this input now it just cannot it's too small so the width is too small so that we don't really see the placeholder uh, this is somewhat of a problem, but we can fix this in a second. So let's go back to our code and let's go to the CSS. Then we will say input control. So we can give it such a generic name because it's scoped to the component anyway, so it's not a problem. And then we can say min with, uh, let's say, 320 pixels. Okay. And we're not using that here yet. So we need to say uh, import styles from search bar dot module dot CSS dot CSS. And now it's it's a little bit uh, tricky because we have to apply this class. And for that, you need a little bit of background knowledge on how CSS modules work. So if you define a class here, then the actual uh, class that you see in the browser uh, is actually let's see if we yeah is actually you have something like a landing page logo and then you have this random string more or less generated here um, and this is how CSS modules work so this is how the name is made unique by just appending some randomly more or less generated string and we also saw like one problem here yeah, that's true because we copied it from we copied the code from the documentation from the Bulma documentation and we have to say class name instead of class because we're working with react here right okay nice so that should be okay and now we get the warning that styles is defined but not used yes so the thing here is that because we have this randomly generated uh, suffix for each class name we don't know like beforehand what name that CSS class, what specific suffix the browser will give to the CSS class. So um, we need to do string interpolation to apply this input control uh, class. So what we can do here is we can say, we can put in back text here, and we're going to make this entire thing an expression. And then we will just have a space and then we can do standard st string interpolation. So we can say styles and then input control. So now this thing is going to have the class input. The class is medium. So this is from uh, Bulma. And then the dynamic name or like whatever uh, name CSS module is going to assign to that class name so the class name input control and the suffix cool so let's um, copy that and we can also add this to the other input here so that should make it bigger yes that looks much much better and uh, let's reload this okay we still have something in the search bar at line 8 
Oh yeah, here. Yeah, we forgot these controls here. Yeah, and since this video is already quite long, I would pause this right now and I would suggest we continue in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any new videos.